Today we catch the Pokemon that we think best matches the prompts that we are given. Afterwards, fans will vote and whoever has the most people agreeing with them will be the winner at the end. The first prompt is the Pokemon that would taste best in a stew. I don't think people normally eat Pokemon, but okay, this is an interesting one, sure. I think that you're wrong. All right, let's go see what you can find out in the wilderness. Hmm, I already have like a few like Pokemon immediately that come to mind, but oh, I've never seen him just chill like that. Luke, have you ever had a rabbit stew? No. Would you try one in theory? No. You would. Yes, you would. A rabbit? That sounds tasty, right? No. It, do it doesn't. But my, my counter question is, would you ever consider the delicious and nutritious slowpoke tail stew? <laughs> well, okay. Okay. To be fair, I would eat anything, but specifically, I don't know what a slowpoke is supposed to be. What animal is it? Yeah. It's a good point. Honestly, sometimes your curiosity's got a peak. You know what I mean? That is a good one. Because that is literally harvested in Gen 2. So, Luke, isn't it crazy that we're, we were given the early randomization DLC for Pokemon? It's so crazy how we just have access to this. Big shout outs to uh, Junichi Masuda. Like, he, he he got us covered on this one. I ain't gonna lie. Big Juch. That's what I call him. <laughs> Big Juch! Never, I want you to never say that ever again. No, we're friends. We're friends. Let's make my nickname for him. Would you eat a bug? I am okay. Thank you very much. That being said, I saw like a bag of like like dried mealworms the other day and I was like, who is buying this? I honestly haven't found much of anything else to be honest with you. I might have to just roll with this. I'm finding toxic for... Oh, do I go degenerate? You could totally go degenerate and I'm always here for degenerate. Oh, I don't know if people would eat this though. I mean, there's... Maybe? No, no, there's no way. I, I, I refuse. No, I'm refusing to catch this. What was it? What was it anyways? What was it? It's, it's a Vaporeon. That's actually brilliant. I don't think people would eat it in a stew. Only in other ways. Okay, well, that, you didn't have to spell it out. Like, we already knew where it was going. You just, uh, you're one of those. I think I'm going to go with my initial capture. I'm going to submit a Zoomerill because it is a rabbit and it is full of blubber. It is high in fat content. It will be tasty and it's a rabbit, which rabbits do. It's very common. On the other hand, we have my delicious and nutritious Slowpoke because they, the Slowpoke tails, they sell for a very high price because they are very sought after, juicy and succulent. Well, let's see what people think. Okay, first round results are- Oh. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> oh my god! Nobody eats rabbits, bro, but Slowpoke Tails- I knew that was gonna come through for me. I'm so glad I got that. Rabbit stew is such a common thing! Bro, 82% on your own video. That's embarrassing. It's okay. It's okay. I just need to come back. Wait, what's Pat 1? I have something very important to tell you. What are you doing here? And why'd you call me Pat 1? Well, I'm Pat 2, and also Raycon are sponsoring this video. Raycon? That's fantastic news. And th there are two of us? No, there's actually three, and I'm about to summon the third one. You're about to summon another me? To explain why, you need Raycons. Wait, I don't know if this is safe. Raycon are a fantastic brand of wireless earbuds, so let me tell you why they have over 50,000 five-star reviews. Raycon's in a mission to prove that you shouldn't have to pay an arm and a leg for incredible sound and essential smart tech listeners features. So thanks to them, you're paying half the price for the same or better features and quality in your earbud. Wow, Pat 3's got a good head on his shoulders, isn't he? Yeah, he's right. And might I just say, these earbuds, incredibly comfortable to wear, which is huge for me. Because I listen to music and podcasts a lot when I go to the gym, when I travel on trains and such. God, he's just like me. I also go to the gym and travel on trains. It's also super good for catching up on things like anime, when I'm on the move, when I'm going places. I can load up some shows on my phone and I know I'm getting the highest possible quality quality audio that I could ask for. And I don't have to worry about them running out of juice because they have up to eight hours of playtime in the everyday earbuds. Eight hours is so good. That's like way more time than I'd ever need. That's right. Well, you know what? Pat3 has convinced me. I'm gonna pick up some Raycon earbuds. And with that easy and free return guarantee, I know I'm making the right choice. And if you're also smart and wanna make the correct choice, go to buyraycon.com slash Paris to get 15% off your purchase. Just click the link in the description box below. Go to buyraycon.com slash Paris for 15% off. The second round is the Pokemon you're most likely to see in a gym. Like a workout gym, not a Pokemon gym, a workout gym. Pump and iron. I saw a Pokemon earlier and I have a perfect level. I'm going back. I'm struggling on this one. I have a Pokemon and you can count to 10 right now and I will have found that Pokemon. One, two, three, four. Never mind. I take it back. Okay, uh, it's not it's not spawning in anymore. It's, instead, I have Groudon and that's... <laughs> you think Groudon lives? Why is he, <laughs> why is he stood here contemplating water? It's 
seven, eight. No, I take it back. He's he's gone. It's done. Dream's dead. Oh, never mind. There he is. I got it. I swear, God, if it's like I'm a choke, I'm gonna be upset. Is Machamp even in this game? I don't think he is. I think he got sent back to where he came from. That is incredibly rude. Back to Kanto. Yeah, they, they didn't let him in. He got denied at border because he was carrying those guns. You know what I'm saying, bro? Okay, I've got mine. I'm gonna need a little time to uh, peruse the potentials. I'm gonna have to think of some crazy reasoning, like a deli bird, because it's Christmas in the gym and we're bringing presents to all the lifters. I also found Palkia origin form. I don't think he needs to work out though. <laughs> no, I've still, I'm looking, he floats actually. He doesn't even need to use his legs. Or Tinkerton. <laughs> oh, Tinkerton lifts steel. True. I've got, again, I've still got a better option than that though. Ooh, wait a minute. Never mind. I found a good one. Okay, scoop him up. And we can wrap this one up with a pretty little bow. Okay, so I, I caught my primate. I think it's great because you don't only have to lift weights. You can also do boxing. You can do aerobics. You can do calisthenics. That's the kind of thing that primate is into. Is he? Yeah. Then what do you think my choice of Shifu is into? <laughs> Oh, man. They're, wait, they're both good. Yeah, but Oshifu knows two different forms of martial art. He also practices a little bit of boxing. He does a little bit of calisthenics because he does a little bit of kung fu. You know, he is the kung fu panda after all. But Oshifu would be found in a dojo, not a gym. Uh, I don't think so because a dojo is where you hone your martial art, right? You still need to go to the gym to keep them, the, the gains coming in. Well, let's see what the people thought. And the Pokemon you're most likely to see in a gym? Oh, oh, that was close. Almost even Stevens, but I just edged out a little bit. Wow. I can't believe you beat me on that because I was almost sure Oshifu was going to win that. The next prompt is the Pokemon most likely to be the main character of a comedy show. Of a comedy show? Show? So I think you got a Pokemon comedy show. You got some characters, but who's the main one? Which is the most comedic? The most comedic? Oh, dude, wait, this is such a good pick. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. You've already found something that quickly. Yeah, this is such a good submission. I can see so many possibilities with this. I need to find a real meme pick now if I want any chance of winning this. Well, you'll have to try hard, Luke, because the winner of today's Family Feud Showdown will receive the trophy of the winner of the Family Feud Showdown down 2023. Look at that. How cool. It's got a dog on it. That's literally mine. It has got a Border Collie on it, which I know is Luke's favorite type of dog. I, I, I love the Border Collies. You made this for me to potentially not win and then brag about owning because I don't have it because you beat me. I made this specifically for you. Either that you'd be really happy if you won or be really sad. So there's some kind of strong emotion going on there. I want you to know I caught my Pokemon. I'm throwing quick ball after quick ball. I'm praying for crit captures. Why are you so hard to catch? I I caught Rotom. Okay, well, you get my vote. <laughs> That's such a good submission, right? It's a really good submission. But I think I have a pretty good one here as well. Okay, what do we got? I caught Coridon. Oh, it's a doofy. It's a doof. We have all witnessed Coridon in the Scarlet and Violet story and how much of a doofus and a funky little guy he is. I can't lie. No, Rotom is the better option. But like, Coridon is a good choice too. I like this choice because in comedy shows, you got to have some other emotion as well. You got to have some like happy moments, some sad moments. Coridon can hit all those beats really well. That's true. We've seen it. We've seen his performance before. Impeccable actor. Honestly, a visionary. We we have chosen two wonderful options today, and I think it's going to be quite hard for you, the viewer, to vote. Well, let's see how you vote. The Pokemon most likely to be the main character in a comedy show. I'm excited for this. Oh, Rotom. Yes. Yes. Rotom. Huge dub. There was no way under any circumstance I was going to beat Rotom. There was no way. He's just full of hijinks. I'll take 20% on Coridon, though. That's not bad. Okay, I got 79. That's like a big comeback for me there. Yeah, that's huge. Round number four. Which Pokemon is most likely to subscribe to Patters? Sorry, that's not... Um, Which Pokemon is most likely to go viral on TikTok? Oh, are you serious? I saw Coridon in front of me and I was like, oh, he's a good boy, he would. He would do it. He's a good boy. No, it's, it's which Pokemon would be most likely to go viral on TikTok? I have immediate... E immediate Pokemon that come to mind for this. Dude, I have so many. There's a lot of things that come to mind when you think about TikTok influencers and the generics that... This is... This is... 
Okay, I got one of the Pokemon that came to mind. There is another Pokemon that I'm also thinking about that I think would be ideal for this, but this is a brilliant start. First thing that came to mind for me was cats because my entire For You page is just cat videos. <laughs> oh, For You page is maybe something different then. My, my TikTok For You page is cat videos, British white in a daze and getting Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs> you can see what I just caught. Oh, that's really funny. I've seen your TikTok For You page. You pulled it up when we were at a party and the first thing that came up was a thirst TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> was. But you know what? It was the it was the only first TikTok to come up. It didn't take long, but then after that, there were no other ones that appeared. That's cope. Hey, what do you mean? You were there! It was on cope! You were there! I caught a Lilligan. Because I think dances, right? Yeah, TikTok dances. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Well, I'll just tell you what I got. Mine was um Gardevoir. Oh, oh, dude, that might be unbeatable. That, I don't know how I'm going to beat that, man. It was that and Zarina that came to mind the second I thought about TikToks. Man, you're, you're down bad. <laughs> I am a down cataclysmic, bro. It has been a while. I'm going to have like the normal human beings that are like, oh, not this again. And then all of the like 16 year olds and below be like, Gardevoir, mommy, mommy, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. God damn it. Okay, okay. I. I <laughs> Let's see what people thought. And the Pokemon most likely to go viral on TikTok. I already know where this is going to go. Oh, yeah! God damn. Look at that. <laughs> That's so amazing. dumb. I hate everyone. Are you kidding me? If you voted for that, what's wrong with you? That's amazing. 73%? Come on, Lilligan literally dances. Come on. That is a wash, bro. Round number five. The Pokemon most enjoyable to kick. Immediately! Look at him! Oh, I, I'm... Uh, you don't beat me. There's no way. How do I walk into this area? The first Pokemon that spawns is like the most perfect option for this. You found the football Pokemon. Everybody and their mother would love to boot this across the field. I'm just saying. Alternatively, if I could find a Fida, I think that'd be quite a fun one to kick too. What? I hope no one would vote for that. Small little dogs. Nah, mate. They're not even dogs, are they? They're just rats. What is wrong with you? You're literally a dog person. What's happened to you? It's funny to joke about, but it's not real, okay? Okay, I'm catching a Relor, which is the little bug that pushes the, the dirt. You can't kick the dung and the beetle. Dude, you get double points if you kick both of them. That's true. I got uh, I got gulping. Oh, that's a good one. It is, isn't it? He rolled up and I was like, mate, you could just you could actually mistake this Pokemon for a real football. Oh, wait. Wigglytuff. No, so you know when you were a kid and your mate would bring his football over and he'd say, I've got a football, but it wasn't actually a football, it was just a floater. That's what Wigglypuff and Jigglypuff are. Yes, exactly. You'd kick them and they wouldn't go very far. Whereas Gulpin's got some substance. So you kick that, you got you feel the weight on your foot and it actually goes somewhere. I mean, maybe, like, uh, I don't know. But I'm thinking I used to have fun playing football when I was a kid with those little floaty things on the beach. No, I didn't. I used to play with the real football ones that you kicked and you could actually get some distance on and you'd see how far you could get it with crossbar challenge. You kick the floater. It'd be like Smash Ultimate when you hit somebody and they go, Phew. And they stop in the air. I might have you beat on this one. I just found... Okay, wait, I can't encounter them. Wait, no. Wait, what? I'm walking through them. I can't... I can't encounter it. It's... This game is so fixed and finished and should have been shipped. Oh my god. I'm so glad this game was released. Why can't I encounter it? I just found the cutest thing in the world. There was a sleeping Mew underneath a tree. Would you kick it? No. Dude, I got so distracted. I just saw... What the fuck is this quagsire? I do have my submission, which is Wigglytuff. Because it floats, it's kind of annoying, and it just feels like it would give a little bit of resistance, not too much, it's not going to hurt your foot or anything like that. I want to feel the pain, quite frankly. When we play kickball, I, I loved feeling that. Let's see what people voted. The Pokemon most enjoyable to kick is... Oh my god! Whoa! Wow! Straight down the middle! Oh my god, okay. That's insane that you edge out at an extra point because you have your above 50. But that's, that, is, that is literally as close as you're going to get it for 20, 127 votes. You got the extra point because you caught Gulpin. I got the Wigglytuff. Well, I still agree. I, thought, I still think it should be 50-50 for us on that. That is insanely close. We both get 50 points for that, I think. Rounds number six, the Pokemon most likely to get detention in school. Who's a little misbehaver? Who's a delinquent? Okay, I saw this little guy, and while he may be on the cute on the exterior, I feel like he's a, he, he'd be a right little shit. You think he'd be a little troublemaker? Yeah, my first Pokemon catching is Fampy. I always say Fampy would be, like, he deserves his own cartoon show. He 
he's a cute little guy, but he would be a mischievous little guy as well at the same time. I feel like that's a pretty good option. Oh, I have also just encountered a great option as well. What about Gimme Ghoul? Doesn't he just look mischievous? Oh, that's actually a brilliant answer. He would steal from the teachers. He would steal their coins. He would steal their money. You've said that and I have immediately thought of a different Pokemon. That would be like it's, it's match. I think you've beaten me in that one, but I think if I can find this other Pokemon, I would have matched you. Oh! Wait, this is a really good one. I just caught Shuppet. Oh, Shuppet is super mischievous, isn't it? Tell me he's not. He's a little prankster. I think I might have to submit on, on Shuppet. I think Shuppet might be a really good one for that. All right, we got Gimme Ghoul versus Shuppet. Let's see who got the most votes. The Pokemon most likely to get detention in school is... Oh my God, it's almost 50-50 again. We got some good Pokemon. I'm not going to lie. That this is crazy how close this is. And the final round, the Pokemon that hates taking baths the most. I hate taking baths. Doesn't want to get clean. I'm thinking cats immediately. They hate them. Oh! <laughs> Look, I found a Groudon. <laughs> <laughs> For God's sake, how do you beat that? Okay, well, hear me out, hear me out. I caught LeChonk. Okay. Yo, he'd be running around the house. He'd be getting the whole place wet, you know, getting this water everywhere. I think that's a good one. But to be honest, Groudon created land in the sea so that he did not have to touch water. But you know what? I stick with my guns. I think I think LeChonk, being one of the meme mons, one of the fan faves, if you will, I 100% think that I've got an opportunity and a chance here to beat Groudon with the little guy. But is the LeChonk meme still strong enough? Yes, look at him. If you didn't vote for this, who are you? What are you doing? You're wrong. I think there's no way I could find something that is more perfect than Groudon. And I don't think there's anything I can get that would beat Groudon outside of what I've gotten so far. All right, let's see what the final results are. Before we get into the last bit, I just want to say that I am about 50 points behind, so I need a huge swing in my favor here. And Groudon is... Oh! Oh, okay! Oh my god, this is gonna be so close. LeChonk got 25 and Groudon got 74, which means the results are... This is gonna be so close. <laughs> The final results, I have 347 points and Luke has 347 points. You have to go down the, to the percentage level in order to find out who won. So we're going to have to re-add up the points, including decimals, to find out exactly who won. All right, so I know what my score is. Pat, you know what your score is with the decimals included. What is your score? With decimals included, my score went to 349.9. My score is 350.1. Oh my god! You've never seen it any closer than that. That's the closest thing I've ever seen. So, Luke, you... Do I get the Collie Trophy now? You get the Collie Trophy on point two points. Congratulations. You're the winner. <sighs> Subscribe, please. Thank you.